以色列人民和中国人民携手共建人类命运共同体。My name is Roy, and I'm the Israeli tourism attaché to China. I live in Shanghai for more than three years. And actually, my first time coming to China was in 2012. During that time, I fell in love with China, and I saw the big potential for the China-Israel bilateral relations and diplomatic relations. So that gave me the inspiration to enter the Asian Studies Department at the University in Israel and to study about Chinese culture, Chinese language, China's economy, etc. And the history, of course. And I still remember, until this time, my first night in Shanghai, when I, I was shocked to see the modernization of the city. The essence of our diplomatic role in China is to promote the tourism and cultural relations between the nations and market Israel as a leading travel destination for the day after when the Chinese borders would be reopened. Experience now, travel later to Israel. And when we say experience now, experience Israeli food, experience Israeli culture, experience Israeli sports, outdoor activities, and of course, in Shanghai, we have the historical relations between Shanghainese people and Jewish people and the state of Israel located here in Hong Kong district in Shanghai, where the Jewish Refugee Museum, the museum which have all the monuments to, so we can remember the Jewish descendants who came to Shanghai, rescued in Shanghai from World War II. Around 30,000 Jewish people came to the city of Shanghai stayed at the Hong Kong district, had their normal life. So even nowadays, we can still find many monuments, coffee shop, place where they have used to do their laundry, their gatherings. So you can still find all those authentic places here in Shanghai. First of all, Shanghai for me is like my second home. So the Hong Kong district, as I found intensive a modernization recently. I saw that most of the area are go is going through a mass renovation. Uh, I like the combination of history and tradition with the modernization. And I think Hong Kong district is well preserved. You can see the buildings still, even though it goes through a mass renovation, it still maintains their preserved history and culture of the uh, last decade here in Hong Kong district. I would like to congratulate the Chinese Communist Party for successfully launched their 20th Congress of the People's Republic of China. And this year, we celebrate the 30 years anniversary for the bilateral relations and diplomatic relations between the State of Israel and the People's Republic of China. So I wish for the both nations to maintain its bilateral relations, diplomatic relations, science and technology, commercial, tourism and culture relations.